Hi and welcome to the Geek Legion of Doom. This is a horror movie review and I'll be having a look at the movie simply called Stalled. Now this is actually a zombie movie and it's a British made movie that came out in 2013 and is uh, a Christmas movie on top of that. And basically it's a very very simple plot and one of these films that kind of all the action takes place on one location. And this location being a woman's toilet in a kind of office where they're having a sort of office Christmas party. So basically it follows the uh, kind of this, this guy who's like a janitor and ultimately he's kind of a bit of a downtrodden being ultimately. He's very uh, sort of quiet and kind of misunderstood at work and hasn't got many friends, lives with his mum and that sort of thing. And uh, he ends up sort of happening to sort of get, be in this kind of woman's sort of toilet or in this sort of a Christmas party. And uh, he ends up sort of hiding out in this sort of stool and ultimately sort of two sort of women come in and sort of start having a bit of a let up in there and of course he's uh you know has a bit of a has a bit of a spy on them but one of these women have been bitten by uh, a pizza boy who's sort of been delivering pizza to the party i would imagine anyway it turns out of course that this pizza woman must have been carrying this sort of the zombie plague and ultimately she turned into a, a kind of zombie herself and then chows down on her on her love interest um suffice to say there's loads of other zombies that have kind of already been affected at this point and basically our hero is kind of trapped in this in this sort of toilet, he finds out there's actually another uninfected woman in a kind of a few stalls down. You never really actually see, but you just sort of hear her voice, and there's a reason for that, which I won't go into. Anyway, so it's a kind of it's a very claustrophobic zombie film. It's quite effective. Now it's kind of being sort of billed as a kind of cross between Not the Living Dead and kind of Shaun of the Dead, but I would say it kind of it's more along the lines of Evil Dead and sort of Return of the Living Dead. There's some nods to both of those movies in there. Now it's quite a fun film. Obviously, it's a horror comedy rather than kind of just a straight up sort of horror film. And I, I think it's pretty effective. I think it's, you know, it's, it's obviously quite an original sort of take on this sort of zombie genre being in just in this kind of one location for pretty much 95% of the movie anyway, apart from the kind of the very end. Uh, but it's, I think it was also to its detriment because you kind of want them to get out of this kind of, this, this particular occasion at the end. It kind of ends up being a little bit grating. So what, what is its best strength is also it's probably its weakness as well. The performances are quite interesting. Um, the, other, the guy who's actually, who's actually the main star, who's actually wrote the, the screenplay as well. So the zombie makeup's not, not too bad. It's quite gooey and there's some quite sort of disgusting scenes. So, you know, if you like a sort of like bloody mess, you'll probably get along with this movie. Uh, it's, not, it's certainly not a bad, you know, there's probably an above average zombie movie, I have to say, if you're kind of a fan of these sort of like sort of tongue in cheek zombie films, I think you'll get a kick out of this one. Providing you don't require lots of kind of different locations and kind of different sort of sceneries and stuff like that. And also, I think maybe the kind of the lead character is written to be uh, a little unlikable, I, I have to say. And I, I think it's probably by design, but unfortunately, that kind of makes him, uh, you don't really root for him at the same time as well. But overall, I think it was an above average zombie movie. I kind of quite enjoyed watching it. I want to give it a 6.5 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment. I will look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.